coming in guys, my name is OTG Lad, episode number 11, 1 and 1, episode 11 here at Budapest, Hungary, for the Hungarian, Hungarian Grand Prix, yes, we've caught up with Real Formula 1, and here we go now, so, we have signed for Toro so Bianchi thought the best career move would be him signing for the Toro Rosso team We all knew it was gonna happen. It was the team he wanted to be at and the big thing is look at that bottom right hand corner A full red bar occurs, but he could only get 17th. It was a very very competitive qualifying session I mean everyone from I think about 8th to 17th were very close to each other and It was a great performance by uh, by everyone But Bianchi couldn't seem to get fast on anyone and he has a good start there Just breaking into uh, the back of Senna who done very well in qualifying actually himself in a good position but now he's going to go up the inside of Hulkenberg who tries to squeeze him out wide he just breaks a little bit later than Hulkenberg gets around the outside of him and the outside of Massa now he makes it sick and there's a fr fr three cars going through the rest I think it's a M McLaren Mercedes and a Sauber now Kamui Kobayashi is ahead of him he's used some of his curves oh he loves that curves and now he's going to nudge him in the backside as Kamui Kobayashi gets four, all four wheels off the track and then he's trying to go around the outside of Button but that leaves a gap for Sergio Perez just to lean through and Bianchi has lost a position but he breaks a little bit later going into the chicane he then gets the undercut and then he nudges Perez who has to take a compromised line and now they're side by side going into the second sector he gets a little bit of back end wheel spin but he holds it together and Jules has got himself sixth position there but then on lap six all disaster he's held him up so well and now he's been down in ninth where the three salvers and loads to cars that were a lot faster than him were just unbelievably just so lucky to keep to get that position because Bianchi made a silly mistake going on to lap 8 now he's got a bit of a gap to Hulkenberg but I don't know if it's going to keep it he enters the pits very very timidly to see what he can do the tyres are absolutely destroyed it's a horrible track for tyre wear but it's a great race and I can tell you it's the dynamic weather that's going to make this race very exciting coming to the end of the episode because I can tell you that it's going to begin raining now I don't think we've had that so far in this but I'm looking forward to having our first wet race of the season because I don't know how it's going to go I don't enjoy it as much but I wonder which track it's going to be it'd be weird to have a whole season without having a, a wet race circuit but now going on to lap 11 everyone's come out and we're down in 12th position but there'll be obviously some eggs we're down in 12th position but there's Hulkenberg trying to go up the inside can Hulkenberg get the undercut but he can't but that leaves Sebastian Vettel through once again Bianchi and Vettel are having another battle and it's just one of them things but as always they always slip and slide and there's Paul De Resta and something's happened to Vettel and then once again the same area Bianchi gets a little bit wide gets the wheel spin and has made a silly mistake letting the cars through so now he's down in 15th position and there we see lap 17 the rain's down and, J and Jules just loses the rear end letting Stillian Petrov through so obviously something weird's going on here with this wet weather but it seems the Catron boys are doing a fantastic job to keep their car on the track and there was a guy um, a guy on the track who had one of the worst races of his career I'm, I'm not lying this driver is absolutely going to be absolutely really annoyed with himself here we go a car coming up to be lapped and I believe it might be a lap for the second time I don't remember I think I might have done it for the second time but as we see here he's just got horrible horrible tyre wear and there it is it's Pastor Maldonado and he just reverses straight onto the track holding up people behind me so there we have Petrov and all of them guys and we can just see how much they're struggling with these wet weather conditions because Jules cannot turn this car and he's forced to go onto the runoff area and it's a bit it's a it's a weird one. I mean, if I would have done a 50% race, I would have definitely come in for Inters. And there we see Felipe Massa and the Force India pulled a rest to make a mistake. So the Yankees now in 15th after we thought it would be a disaster of a race. But he's reaching his minimum expected target. Now, can he get Felipe Massa, who goes off the track once again now? Massa's struggling more than Jules. They're going to go side by side into the, into the third from last corner now. This is an amazing little battle going on between these two drivers. Side by side, can Jules get the manoeuvre done? Massa slips behind him, but he gets some terrible... Terrible understeer and some horrible whip. The wheels just cannot stick to the the uh, ground now. We're just going through the, the corner and here we go. Just getting some back end wheel spin. He's trying his hardest to keep the car on a, on the straight and narrow. He's low on fuel and I believe George Bianchi is going to come across the line in his first race for Toro Rosso. He's pleased with himself because he come from the the bottom the bottom half of the grid now. Jules is down. 
Uh, he's, sorry, it was in 14th position after this race. A great job by Jules, and he's done a fantastic job in his first race for his brand new team. And there we go, 14th position. Petrov doing a great job there, and let's have a look. So, Carter Kayan finished behind Sebastian Vettel, who was down, down, I believe it was 16th or 17th. Horrible race for him. And there's the, there's the Drivers' Championship. And next time out, guys, we are in Belgium. And then after Belgium, we get to choose our rival for the 2012, for the rest of the 2012 season. Just like to say thank you guys for watching. My name is OTG. I'll see you guys very shortly for some more. The Yankees Road to Red Bull as Road to Red Bull Week continues. Bye, guys.